Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new, subscribe. Okay, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment. Um, you know, I always try to be completely transparent on this channel. And the truth is, um, moving to Canada, you know, it has not, it has not always been um, peaches and rainbows. It's something that I knew, uh, moving into the situation always. Every, you know, I look at it like this. Everything that you want to do and everything that you're fighting for, it doesn't come easy. And when you're taking the difficult route, the uncomfortable route, it's going to be uncomfortable and it's going to be very painful. And right now it is extremely painful. Um, I think that's why I've just been taking a, a real break from um, YouTube and everything just to clear my mind. But I decided to just make this video, to make this video on reasons why people, you know, may not want to come to Canada, why people are leaving Canada. Uh, so yeah, but like I said before, I'm just being transparent, you know. I know, and, and that's why I always tell you guys, know what you're doing it for, know what you're doing it for, because... <laughs> When your back is against the wall, you're going to feel like giving up. You're going to feel like, I just want to go back home at the end of the day. <laughs> so you have to know what you're, you're doing it for, especially for me. You guys know that I'm extremely spiritual, so I know that this is just my testing season. And I'm going to win. Okay, I'm not. The victory belongs to God at the end of the day. But these are just some things that I haven't realized that has been a challenge. And... For me, it has been a challenge um, in my home country as well, to be honest. But anyways, number one, number one would be jobs are, and when I say this, because you can find jobs in Canada, I don't want you guys to ever feel like it's, it is not, you're not capable of finding jobs. Now, however, if you're, a, if you're seasoned at your job, there definitely, it, it, it will, it could be, because I always say, what someone else goes through, you're not going to go through. And that's just the truth. It, 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 it just, it's just how it is, right? But that you can walk into some challenges with if you're experienced and you're a seasoned person in your career, you, you definitely may have to, um, take a lower entry job and that's something that a lot of persons don't want to do ain't have no plans on doing it you know but that's something that you ideally that's what you have to do and that's with ideally I would say everything when it comes to Canada is that you have to take like the lower route um, regardless of what experience or anything that you may have had um, previously in your home country just because um, Canadians, they, they, the truth is they kind of do not value um, other countries' experience as much as they will um, if you're from Canada. Um, they, they will not also probably not value um, your education, um, degrees, and credentials and all of that as well as much as they would a Canadian. And the truth is you're going up against Canadians, so you have a disadvantage. Um, so that would be a reason why, that would definitely be a reason why some people um, find it very difficult um, as they move here in Canada. Another reason would be if, you're, if you have decided to go to school, it's like double the disadvantage because now you don't have any real experience and you have to be very cautious um, and mindful of your scheduling. And a lot of employees probably would not, um, you know, the truth is a lot of employees probably would, it'd be an extra hassle, right? Because like now we gotta, we gotta, I, we have to fit you in our schedule. So that's not a disadvantage. 
Um, like for me, I cannot, I cannot work day job. Um, and I had a lot of opportunities, but the truth is I, I cannot work day job. Centennial is my college is really, I don't know. And that is something that um, me and the other students are looking into because it's like, I don't think they know who are, like majority are international students inside of this college. And it's like, you know, you guys are not trying to not even like make it a little bit like you're not trying to accommodate nobody like for me i have to get a midnight job or a night job i have to work in the night especially with my son and everything so another thing is um is that child care is expensive in canada yeah child care if you a lot of the um a lot of the what's it called a lot of the Public schools, they do have, um, they do have before and after school care. Um, however, my son's school does not. So that is, that has been the nightmare for me. But this has also have been an issue back home in the Bahamas. So at this time, I'm just fed up with the system. <laughs> like, I just do not want to work. Like, please. Give me, I am tired of working in this field. They don't want me to work. That's how I've been feeling, like, literally. But that is also um, one of the issues as well as that it, it, it is, uh, it is, childcare is costly. Like, you can, um, you can spend, you can spend, like, $40, and this is in Ontario. You can spend like forty dollars. I think you might could find like forty dollars, forty forty dollars a day. I think you could, but I know for me, I've been spending I think thirty five dollars for about five hours or four hours or so for my son. So yeah, it is that adds up, right? It does. It, it adds up. <laughs> Trust me, it does. Uh, so yeah, so that 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 is that is definitely um, one of the reasons as well. Another thing, another another thing would be that Canada is costly. Canada, um, compared to where I live, my hometown, which is the Bahamas, the Bahamas is more expensive. But again. Canada is not cheap. <laughs> so, so that could also um, be a deterrent um, when it comes to Canada, especially the rent. Rent in Canada also is, is fairly high, especially if you're living in um, Toronto. But guys, it also depends on your, on your province. Here in Ontario, um, Rent, rent is, rent is high. <laughs> this, and, 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 and the truth is, I don't want to discourage you guys, you know, I don't want to, this is by far not a video to discourage, but it is a video um, to be real because I think that I've have shown a lot of positive things about Canada. So I think that is also good to show the, the not so good things about Canada. And it's being real because I don't want to give you guys a picture of you thinking that you're going to come to this country and they're going to be smiling and things are going to be great. Because the truth is, you you may have obstacles. You know, you probably will. And like everywhere you go has these issues. And if you're looking for peaches and cream, you you could, I, I advise you to switch that thinking now. I advise you to just change it. My battery is dying, guys. But yeah, I advise you to change it. And there are a lot of other things too that I can that I can talk about that hasn't been the best. Um, but like I said before, this is something that I knew going into it, and this is not. 
for um, any sort of discouragement. You know, and, and two, another thing would be why people would probably leave is that it's like they 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 might have not they might have um ended up spending well, maybe a lot of their savings or maybe all of it. So at that point, what do you expect? <laughs> I'm gonna go back home. <laughs> yeah, so anyways guys, I just don't wanna paint a picture of everything is Gucci, everything is um everything is so perfect when you move because it's not gonna be but ideally what I would say is you have to know what you're doing it for and and if you want better this is what this is what it takes you know things does not begin off beautiful it doesn't begin off easy it, it, anything with change is difficult at the beginning you know that's just the truth that's how the cookie crumbles um so yeah if you guys like this video just like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye